uh, obviously get into the music side of things, man. You're like nonstop with it, bro. You got the uh, you got your own spot. For those that might not know, this man is a hustler, man. He has his own like legit spot where you can do videos and studio and I mean, you got everything. So how's that? How's the business going? Yeah, Colorline Media, you know, located in Phoenix. It's going good, man. We got the white room. We just remodeled the studio made it more spiffy dope and i wanted to change the look for like the in, stu in studio video look you know what I mean? right to right keep it looking different because once four or five cats knock out an in studio video we got there it is look. <laughs> yeah but that's going good i mean we, we i just started a t-shirt business i got a uh, vending machines all kind of, man i'm telling you you're working real. Bougie for real. See, that's dope, bro. Like, so many people, I think, are just so focused on just one thing that like, I'm gonna put everything into this music thing, right. which is cool. Right. But at the same time, you, it, it's always good to have your it, it's investments. Right nowadays, you gotta get paid like ten different ways. Exactly, make, bro. I mean, even off the music, like it can't just be selling out shows or selling an album. You know, it's gotta be endorsements and uh, I mean, paid off streams and YouTube views. Yeah, and every this check goes counts. on. Yeah, every check counts. So, uh, I'm trying to think what to go. You have so many things going on, what to touch on. Let's talk the merchandise. You come in right now, you have lighters. Yeah. Well, what's going on with these? Okay, man? well, I mean, everyone's rapping nowadays, but you gotta be a little different. I feel like you, you, merchandise is very important. Hell yeah. One, because you gotta let the fans leave, especially at a show, you gotta let the fans leave with something to remember you by. And a CD is so played out. Like, I know that it's like mandatory, they do need a CD. Yeah, you gotta have it, yeah. but. But, like, the lighter, <laughs> and then, you know, the, the, the Splitterillo endorsements and everything I got going on, it's really leaving them some, man, this, I'm a, I might actually play the CD now, because you gave me a lighter and a, a Splitterillo, you know. I think it, it, people will take you more serious, too, because, right. I mean, I, again, anyone can go get 100 CDs pressed up. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that you have other stuff going on, like exactly. merchandise or endorsements and stuff, it's like, yo, this guy's actually doing something. He's not just man. saying he's a rapper. Yeah, man, I appreciate that, man, because I do work hard. So when I first heard JP on Bell, that record for me, it painted a picture. And not only something that happened to somebody he knew or that he read about, you know, somebody else, it was a real life personal situation that he was dealing with legally at the time. But what's crazy is when I got that record, I, was, I, I wasn't sure if I should play it, to be honest, because he was telling everything so real and what was happening. And meanwhile, he's going through the court case of the whole situation. And I'm like, damn, this record is too hot not to play. But if I play it, like, is it going to be all right legally for him? Like, Because he's basically telling what happened, how much, what they took, what he had. And man, that was just a real ass record, man. And the jewelry shows it. Let's talk the jewelry, yeah. man. This guy has more custom pieces than I've seen anyone out here have, man. Yeah, I mean, man. what, what out, the hell, bro? How rich are you? Shout out for Ross. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, the name's bougie, you know, so I got to keep up with the image. I feel like the image nowadays is almost more important than the talent. It's crazy. <laughs> it is, bro. It's the truth. Like, you have girls yeah. on Instagram with like 100,000 followers getting booked to host clubs that right. can't that don't With know no the difference between on. like there, there, and there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, bro. It is, it's all about an image these days. Right, the jewelry is just something. But believe it or not, Tino, I've been like this since high school. I was wearing gold chains in high school. Like, oh, okay. You know, I was a real getting it on my own type of thing. You know what I mean? So That's dope. But, um, it, and it's also a friendly competition between me and my Brody Swerve B yep. and a couple other cats around me. You know, he gets a nice chain. I got a one up him, then he got a one up me. <laughs> and now we playing with 30, 40 These earrings he got on right now. I can't yeah. even see straight. Thank you, Tino. Oh man, man this boy's shining on him. So let, let's talk to music, man. What are we jumping into tonight? Um, We got uh, my two singles, you know, Bougie Two's the uh, album, it's in stores now. And we got the single right now off of there, and we got the single Circus. Both of them got YouTube videos, man. Go check them out, you know. Doing numbers. And then we got uh, Catch Up dropping in uh, April. And we're calling it Catch Up because they need to catch up, man. I got the <laughs> I'm running laps around. You see, I got the lighters that, you know, they got to catch up, man. There it is, man. Rock with this man, man. I mean, he, he's definitely hustling more than uh, your average hustler.